my name is Dr. Treasury, it's nice to meet you. Firstly, congratulations on the provisional job offer. Are you feeling excited about it or nervous or a bit of both, of course? Well, this is the final part of the assessment process for your new job. In order for you to continue with your employer, we just have to carry out a really thorough medical assessment for you. It's really for their insurance purposes because they need to make sure that they are aware of any pre-existing health issues. Shall we get started? Great, okay. I'm going to begin with a health screening questionnaire. It's just to gather some general information about your health and wellness as it is at the moment. So I will ask you a few questions. Some of them might not be relevant to you, but not to worry. Okay. Good. Right, let me just load this one up here. All right. So, first of all, could I check your age, please? That's what we have on the record. Perfect. And did you complete the height and weight screening when you were at reception? Mm-hmm. Okay, so just to check, what was your height? Yep. Yeah. And what was your weight? Now, are you experiencing any symptoms of illness at the moment? So, anything at all that's out of the ordinary for yourself? Okay, good. And are you on any medications right now? Okay, and what's that one? smoke or vape? All right. And how much alcohol on average are you drinking per week? Mm -hmm. Lovely. In general, how active are you? Do you have quite a sedentary lifestyle? Do you do at least 30 minutes of exercise a day? More than that? Lots of walking. Mm -hmm. That's good. That certainly counts. Okay, lovely. Is that swimming in a pool or cold sea? Cold water swimming. Very nice. Okay. Lovely. And what do you do or what have you been doing for a living up until you applied for this job? Oh, very interesting, okay. Okay, and how come you decided to leave that job role? I only need to know if it was due to a health issue. Okay, and not stress related at all. When is the last time that you had a dental checkup? Mm hmm Okay. Any issues there? Okay. That's fine. And do you know when the last time is that you had an eye test? Alright. And how about a hearing test? Have you ever had a thorough hearing test completed? Okay. No problem. In the last year, have you had any operations or have you had any stays in the hospital that have required you to be in the hospital overnight? Okay. Do you know if you have any allergies at all? And the final question for this section, how many hours on average per night of sleep do you get? 
Okay. And are you quite a light sleeper or? Okay, that's fine. Lovely. Okay, so we're going to move on now to looking at specific areas of your health. And we're going to start with your heart and your circulatory system. So I'm going to do some tests and make some notes as I go. But the first thing I want to check with you is whether you ever get breathless or experience any kind of chest pains if you were to go up more than two flights of stairs. That's it, so any kind of small amount of moderate activity would you experience breathlessness or chest pain. Okay, perfect. And have you ever had angina? experienced an irregular heartbeat or do you know if you have a heart murmur? Mm -hmm. Okay, right. I'm going to start now then by checking your pulse. So if you would like to pass me your wrist. Lovely. Just going to pop my fingers on there. onto the back of your chest as well. Okay. Same again, just sit nice and still. Good. Your heart sounds lovely and strong, so that is great news. No signs of any kind of heart murmurs or anything like that that we need to be worried about. Okay. So I also need to check your blood pressure. So what I would like you to do is just pull your sleeve up for me there. That's it, perfect. And I'm going to start by popping Just around your arm. Okay. Lovely. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to inflate the cut. I'm just going to have a look at this one as we do it, okay? So it's going to get a little bit tight on your arm. Okay, so here we go. Listen at the same time. So 
So I'm just going to pop this one under the cuff here. Okay. And then we're just going to do the same thing again. So. Lovely, healthy blood pressure there. Nothing to worry about at all. Okay. Now, in terms of your circulatory system, do you find that you are someone who is particularly sensitive to the cold? numbness in your fingertips or your toes or do you ever experience a sense of pins and needles in your skin like your skin is tingling? Okay, that's perfect. Okay, do you ever have a painful muscular cramps? So do you find that your legs cramp up or anywhere else on your body? No? Okay, and do you get achy or tired when you walk? Mm -hmm. That's great, okay. Now what I would like to do is just examine your hands and your feet. So you will need to take your shoes and your socks off for me if that's okay. Lovely, I'll give you a moment just while I get the bits and pieces that I'm going to need. On. That's it, just pop those to one side for a moment. You can put these back on shortly. Perfect. Okay, thank you for that. So I would just like you to put your hands out in front of you with your palms facing down for a moment. Good, alright, so I'm going to start by looking at your right hand here. I'm just examining the colour of your skin and also your nails and your fingers in general. upwards. Okay, let's have a look at this right hand here. Lovely fingertips are a nice normal colour. No blue undertones there. Veins are all looking good and normal. I'm just going to run this little spatula here your fingers, so I would like you to close your eyes for me a moment, that's it, just close those eyes. And I just want you to tell me which finger I am running this spatula over, okay? okay. So with your eyes closed, here we go, first one, just very softly running that spatula from your palm and up your finger. Which finger is that? Very good, okay. Which finger is that? Very good, okay. And how about now? Which finger do you feel the spatula on? Great, okay. And I'm 
going to do the same for the other hand. So which finger is that one? Ring finger, good, okay. And now about now, which finger can you feel the spatula on? Pinky finger, well done, okay. And last one on this one. middle finger, well done, okay. So I'm just going to do exactly the same examination now, but for your feet, okay? So I will start with your left foot here, and same again, I'm just looking at the nails, and I'm looking at the skin tone, any bluish undertones, and also the veins as well, okay? As I have my hands on your foot here, does it feel at all numb anywhere? No? Okay. Quite sensitive there. <laughs> okay, no problem. So I'm just going to do the same again, so if you would keep your eyes closed for me, I'm going to run that spatula over your toes, and I would just like you to tell me which toe you can feel the spatula on, okay? Good, alright, this might be a little bit tickly if you are quite sensitive here. Well done. And how about now, which toe is that? This is your big toe, well done, okay. And finally, which toe is that? Good, well done, okay. Let's have a look now at your right foot. Same for this one here, just looking at the skin and the nails. And as I'm holding your foot here, are there any areas that feel numb to you at all or like you have pins and needles? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Alright, so let's do the same again for this foot. I'm just going to run the spatula over your toes, so keep those eyes closed for me. That's right, okay, final one. Which toe can you feel the spatula on this time? Great, well done. Okay, so there doesn't appear to be any issues with your circulation. I've also been looking at the colour of your lips as we've been talking. Open your eyes now, that's fine. Good. Okay. So that all looks perfectly normal. So let me just pop a note on that. Right. So your heart and your circulatory system are all good from our point of view. So we are going to move on now to looking at your lungs in more detail. So do you have any breathing disorders? This includes asthma, bronchitis, COPD, emphysema, anything like that? Okay. So asthma as a child. And did you need to use an inhaler? Hmm? And when is the last time you've needed to use an inhaler? 
long time again, no problem. Do you still carry one on your person now? That one looks all good and I'm going to do the same in your right nostril. So if you could just tilt your head back again. Good. Let's have a look in here. Okay. That's good. me a moment. I'm just going to pop this one onto your tongue. Okay, so stick your tongue out for me and say, ah, uh, very good. Great, okay, you can put your tongue away now and close your mouth. Done. That all looks good. So we're going to do some checks on your nostrils in terms of breathing. So what I would like you to do with your mouth closed is take a big deep breath in through your nose for me. Good, that's it. As deep as you can. Well done. And now breathe out through your nose. And now I would like you to just cover one nostril. That's it. And now take a big deep breath in again, just through the other nostril. So keep your mouth closed the whole time. That sounds lovely and clear. Okay, and breathe out just through that nostril. Well done. And now can you switch to the other side of, for me? So close the other nostril and with your mouth closed, deep breath in. Very good. And slow deep breath out. All the way. Try to really empty those lungs if you can. Perfect. That's fantastic. Okay. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pop my stethoscope back on and I'm going to have a listen to your lungs this time. Okay. So this is a great opportunity to do a couple of breathing exercises as well, but for the moment all you need to do is just breathe normally, just breathe as you would in rest. Okay. Just listening to your lungs here yeah, to make sure they're nice and clear. Okay. So you're breathing 
breathing quite quickly at the moment so let's try to do it whilst counting to see if we can regulate your breathing slightly so you're going to breathe in for five hold and then breathe out for five okay are you ready okay so breathe in one Same on this side. Okay, so breathe in. One, two, three, four, five. And breathe out. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. And we're going to do the same again, but I'm going to place the stethoscope onto your back. I would like you to do now is something a little bit different for me. I'm just going to place a stethoscope back on your chest again, just at the front here, okay? Now I'm going to ask you to breathe in in a moment and you're going to take as deep of a breath as you can, the deepest breath you have taken all day, okay? Good, that's it. Go on, keep going. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. And tie a bit more one more tiny little breath in if you can. Good. And now you are going to look up towards your third eye and you're going to stick your tongue all the way out and you're going to take a really heavy breath out like you're trying to fog up a mirror or something, okay? That's it. Go on. Very good. Big heavy breath. Well done. It feels a bit silly. This is called a lion's breath. Okay, and you're going to do the same again. So big deep breath in for me. That's it. And look up and stick your tongue out. Just breathe out. Nice and audible. Very, very good. Okay. So that is a yoga breathing technique really good for relieving stress and tension from the body. So if you ever find that you are nervous or stressed out, to just do a few of those. It feels a bit silly, but it's actually really, really good for your nervous system. That's it. Great. Okay, so your lungs sound perfectly healthy and clear. So we have no worries there at all. We are going to move on to looking at your stomach now and your liver. So I'm going to ask you a couple of questions about that and then I am going to palpate your stomach, okay? Good. Alright, so do you have diabetes? Okay. Do you have a thyroid disease? Okay hormonal system as well. So in terms of your energy levels, do you find that you feel tired or exhausted a lot of the time? Mm -hmm. Okay. And do you have any periods of hyperactivity or do you 
find it difficult to stay still. So, for example, you know, a shaky leg, kind of nervous energy, anything like that. with mood swings, nervousness, irritability, anything like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Okay. And in terms of your stomach then, thinking specifically about your stomach and your gut, do you ever experience stomach cramps? eating or just throughout the day at random periods. Mm -hmm. Okay. And do you have any digestive issues generally? Okay. Any particular food that you are intolerant to? And do you ever have any difficulties? swallowing your food or drink on a daily basis. Okay. Do you ever suffer with acid reflux? Okay, good. What I'm going to get you to do now is just swallow a glass of water for me. You don't have to have the whole thing, but a couple of sips at least. So I have a glass here. And I will just pop some water in there for you. I have a little tablet, a dissolvable tablet. It's completely tasteless, don't worry. It's just, just going to help me when I am examining your stomach in a moment, so I'm going to pop that one in there. It's going to make the water a little bit Fizzy, but nothing to worry about, okay? Okay, here we go. Just waiting for that one to dissolve a moment. Good, okay. If you would like to take a sip of that one for me, or two. Great, just one more for me. Just put my fingers on your throat there as you swallow. That's great, all feels normal, perfect. Lovely, that's it. I'll pop that one back over here for you. So what I'm going to have a look at now is your stomach itself, so I will need to press on your stomach in a couple of different places, and I'm also going to have a listen with the stethoscope, okay? So I'm going to move myself to one side, and I would just like you to lay yourself back slightly, alright? Perfect. Alright, that's perfect. Are you comfortable like that? warmed my hands up slightly. I'm just going to lift your top up here just slightly so I can see your stomach there. Is that okay? Good, okay. Pull that one up for you. Alright, and I'm just going to press in a couple of places on your stomach and I would just like you to tell me if you experience any pain or tenderness at all where I'm pressing, okay? Here we go. How's that? Mm -hmm. Any tenderness at all there? Okay. And what about over here? not painful at all, no? 
Okay, and let's just find your appendix a moment. Not had any pain in this area at all in the last 48 hours. No. Not been feeling at all nauseous. Never had your appendix out. Okay. Very good. Right, I'm going to pop the stethoscope back on now. There we are, and I'm just going to listen to your stomach. We go just there. Okay. Just going to work my way up the esophagus. in with your water just helps us to hear for any irregularities. Okay. Sounds all good. I'm just going to work my way around your digestive tract. Upper intestine. about your digestion or di digestive issues, that is something we can look at for you. We can send you to a nutritionist and we can also get an allergy test done for you just to see if there are any foods that you might be intolerant to if you would like. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just make a note there. skeletal disorders as well, okay? Your nervous system too. So what I would like to check first is your eyesight. So does your eyesight in any way affect your ability or limit your ability to carry out normal day-to-day -day activities such as driving or reading or watching TV, anything like that? Mm-hmm. Okay. And do you experience frequent headaches or migraines? Okay. Perfect. I am going to have a quick look in your eyes, so I will need you to keep your eyes open for this. I have an ophthalmoscope here, and all I'm going to do is get really close up to you, if that's okay. And I'm going to have a good look inside each of your eyes. Good. All right. Okay, so if you could start by looking straight forward for me. Fix your gaze on a point on the wall behind me. That's it. And I'm just going to move in now to have a look inside your eyes. For me towards 
some ceiling. And now look down for me. Give your eyes a rest a moment. You can blink if you'd like to, just for a second. Just blink, 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 blink. That's it, just to rest those eyes. Good, okay. Are you ready for me to have a look on the other side? Yeah. Okay, so same again. If you could just fix your gaze on a point on the wall behind. with a personal chart. If we have any issues at all then I will refer you for a proper eye examination but as you've had an eye test so recently I'm sure that that won't be the case. Okay, right I'll just pop this one up on here. I'm going to hold this one next to my face here. And I just want you to have a look at the letters on the chart. Okay. Alright. So can you see this letter here? Great. And how about this one? letter here, can you see what that one says? Very good, okay. What about this letter here? Mm -hmm. Can you read this letter? Great, okay. How about this letter on the end? And let's move on to the next line. Can you read this letter here? Very good. And how about the one next to it? Can you read that one? Mm hmm The one next to it? In the middle on that row. Okay, and how about the one on the end? read that one. Good, okay, and we're going to start at the opposite end on the next line down. I know it's getting a little more difficult now, but can you make out this letter here? Okay, and what about the middle one? Very good, okay, and what about this letter on the end? Okay, how about 
this one mm -hmm. and this letter here okay and just on the bottom row very tricky can you see any of these letters see if you can read from here and this one any of those okay and just to make sure what color is this Very good. And what colour is this? Excellent. Okay. I don't think we have any issues there. So what I'm going to do next is have a look inside your ears. I want to make sure that your hearing is adequate you have said you haven't had a hearing test before so it might be something we need to look at in a little more detail but I'm just going to start by having a quick look in your ears okay good okay so I'm going to use the otoscope I'm going to start on your left ear here So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line my face up right in front of your walls here and I'm going to make some sounds with the glove and I just want you to tell me when you can't hear them anymore, okay? Okay, so out to your right side, here we go. Can you hear that? And tell me when you can't hear it anymore. the same on your left side. So just looking straight at me. Very good. Can you hear it? Yeah. Okay, same again. Tell me when you can't hear it anymore. Good. Well done. Okay. I'm going to whisper a word into your left ear and I would just like you to repeat it back to me, okay?
Shall I do that one again? Okay, one more on this side. Okay, very good. If you could just close your eyes for me. That's it, just close your eyes again. And now I would like you to just tell me which side of your head you can hear the sounds of my gloves, okay? Here we go. Very good. Good, and now tell me whether they are coming from above, below, or behind you as well. Make it a little more difficult. fine but I am going to refer you for a full and proper hearing test um, just so we can make absolutely sure that there are no underlying issues there at all, okay? That's it, it's nothing, it won't preclude you from taking this job on, it's not a problem. Okay, so do you suffer from dizziness at all or fainting or do you ever have any blackouts. Okay. And do you have arthritis? No. Okay. What I would like you to do now, please, is sit up in your chair for me, nice and straight. That's it. So I would like you to imagine that there is a string which connects from your tailbone all the way up through your spine and into the crown of your head and I want you to imagine someone is just pulling on that string, lifting you upwards nice and straight, straight spine with the crown of your head pointing up and lifting actively towards the ceiling that is perfect, well done, okay now all I'm going to ask you to do keeping that spine beautifully straight is just tilt your head back slowly and look up towards the ceiling okay that's it i'm just going to watch your spine as you do okay so just go as far as you can with your head if it starts to feel uncomfortable or like you can't do it then you can stop that spine Does it feel like you have any issues with keeping your back straight as you're doing that? No? Okay, good, so you can look forward towards me again. Very good. And sitting up and nice and straight again, I'm just looking at your body lines for symmetry so that your shoulders are in line with one another, one isn't higher than the other and I'm going to check your muscles now as well, okay? Great, okay so I'm going to place my hands on your shoulders and I would just like you to lift your shoulders up against the weight of my hands very good, just pressing down both sides, that's it nice and even resistance, very good so we're going to do the same with your head now. So I'm going to press against the right side of your face and I want you to just lean against my hand, okay? Try to resist my hand there. Okay, that's it. So resist, resist, resist. Very good. And the same 
you know on this side that's it just resist 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 very good i'm going to place my finger under your chin and i want you your jaw. That's it. Well done. Okay. And now I would like you to squeeze your face tightly close for me. Close your eyes really tight. Very good. And raise your eyebrows. Excellent. And puff out your cheeks for me. Wonderful. And I've seen you do this already with your lion's breath, but if you could just extend your tongue out for me as far as you can. Beautiful and up to the roof of your mouth. Perfect, and you can close your mouth again now. I'm just going to ask you to uh, take my fingers, two fingers in your hand, and just squeeze on my fingers just gently. Okay, and the same with your left hand. Okay, and now do those together for me. Good, very good, well done. Okay. Right, those are looking all good. Now I'm going to check on your knees as well, so I'm just going to ask you to cross your legs. That's it, just like that. One leg over the other. I'm just going to tap on the front of your knee here. And the same on the other side as well. So swap your legs over, so cross over the other way. Very good, and I'm just going to tap on your knee here. Great, okay. That's perfect, well done. Right, so our final check today is going to be on your skin and your scalp. So do you at the moment on any parts of your body have any open wounds, any ulcers, or any blisters? No? Okay, and are you suffering from eczema or dermatitis or anything? Okay, not a problem. So I'm going to start by examining your face. Okay. Lovely. I'm just going to have a look at the skin here. your 
attention. How does that feel? Also have a look at your scalp as well. Alright. So I'm just going to part your hair. Good. No issues there. Your skin doesn't look at all dehydrated, other than a couple of very small dry spots, which is perfectly normal. There are no issues in your skin, no kind of jaundice or yellowing or anything that would suggest there's an underlying issue going on, so that's all good. Results of the examination today. I don't think you have anything at all to worry about, okay? I am going to make a referral for an in depth hearing examination, as I said, just because you've never had one before, and I think it's good to rule that out for sure. Exactly that, okay? So, when would you be free for a hearing test to take place? You do this Sunday evening. And we work 24 7 here, so it's no problem. Yeah. Lovely. Okay, I will get that one booked in for you, and you will see our resident audiologist who will take you through a detailed hearing examination. Lovely. I will send this report off to your employer along with the results of the hearing test on Sunday. And you will hear from them very soon afterwards, okay? Lovely. Well, it's been a pleasure to meet you today, and good luck very much with the new job. I'll see you again soon.